you're looking at a Pontiac Solstice Grill emblem. And as you can see, it's pretty worn out and faded. These Pontiac emblems sell for about $30 new and seem to be readily available. In this episode of Cars Plus, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the emblem to help make the grill of your Pontiac look like new. We'll take you inside the grill with close-up pictures and show you all the details and tools to get the job done. While we're here, we'll show you a few extras that you might not have been aware of. Replacing the emblem is easy to do and you will be finished in one Saturday afternoon. first step in replacing this emblem is going to be to remove the total of five screws which are across the front here. That's a seven millimeter that we're going to need and we're going to take them all out. All right we're on the passenger side we've got two more of these seven millimeter screws here or screw bolts and we got two on the driver's side. Now we have to take those out. There are a total of four bolts that you have to take out in the fender liner area. The top one is long, the middle two, actually this one, next one down where my finger is now, that one is a shorter one. You also have a longer one positioned where my finger is, that's the third one down. And then you have a shorter one down here on the very bottom, which you probably can't see, but it's down in here. You need to do both fender wells. They're all seven millimeter head screw bolts. Here you have a 10 millimeter bolt each side of the car. These are for your lights down here that we're going to have to undo. All this to get more access so we can actually do our center emblem. You're going to have to remove your wiring for your turn signal. Give it a twist and it pulls out. So when you put it back, you go like this, you twist it back into place. It's run behind this metal bracket. So we're going to undo that. Here's the lower light leads in your bumper. You got to pull up on the tab and pull that out. So now that's all undone. And so this would come away from the car now. Now I've got to go to the other wheel well and get those four bolts out. Then I should be able to get this further forward and maybe even completely off, but at least far enough off that I can work on that emblem. There. Now we have got this undone. All right, now we have the bumper quite loose. We're going to see if I can actually do it without taking the entire thing apart. All right, looking down in here, you'll see the back of the emblem is held on with what are known as speed nuts. Those are stamped nuts put onto the plastic emblem to hold it in place. I'm going to have to take those off. You won't be able to watch it because I'm going to be totally in front of everything. I found a deep socket, 10 millimeter, removed the speed nuts just by hand. You didn't even need to ratchet. And you can take them off with that. Now we're going to set that down and we're going to take our emblem out of here. And this is the emblem and how the speed nuts worked on the plastic that was there. So it's removed. We're going to wash the area and then we're going to reverse the process and put our new one on. Old, new obviously. You can see this sort of plastic piece that they stuck on here, this sleeve. The speed nut will cut its own little threads onto that sleeve when you actually when you go to install it. We have our new emblem. We're going to put it in place. And then we're going to take our speed nuts and install them from the back. And I'm going to install them, I think, by hand, just using my socket here. If I have to, I'll use a ratchet on it. But I have a feeling I'm going to be able to do this with just the socket alone. I've got the bumper of the car totally off, not because it was necessary for the emblem, but because I dropped the speed nut and went clear down to this point. So there's the speed nut. But when I did that, I found, since I haven't owned the car since new, that there's a missing bolt at this point that should have been in holding the bumper. So this bracket had no bolt in it. On the opposite side, that bracket had the bolt in it, and I can tell you why this one's here and that one's not there. Because there's a fastener here and there's no fastener on the other side attached to it. 
So I'm going to have to get a fastener and weld it into place so that the bumper can actually be held on on both sides. Another thing though, for people about these cars that we're going to show you, you actually have a vent going from the front here to your brakes. This is a vent for your brakes to give your brakes additional cooling. And it has a foam piece that goes on the inside of your fender well. And this part is all just pressed on here. There's nothing real special about it. It's just a press on. And this particular side came apart versus the other side, but that's really all there is to it. As I said, this goes on, it goes into the fender well, and then you will put this in on the inside of the fender well. Your brakes have additional cooling provided by this tube. nut and a bolt so I can weld the nut right there because it's missing. It's not supposed to be missing. We're going to put our speed nut in here. I got it all on. That's basically it. You'll have her back on the road before you know it and ready to go cruising. Stay tuned for our next episode. If you think replacing the inside fender well seems daunting, we can help you with that too. Solsa styling is timeless and just like you, we want to keep them on the road. This is Trish with Cars Plus. See you next time. Thanks for watching.